Woohoo! Road trip. Welcome back to the Mind of Watercolor, everybody. Well, today we're headed up into the foothills of South Carolina, only about 40 minutes from my home. Historic town of Pickens, South Carolina, to the Haygood Historic Mill site. Pretty neat place. This is the only existing, standing, and still working grist mill in South Carolina, one of the oldest. It was built in about 1845 has a number of neat historical buildings on the site, and it's just a real cool look at Appalachian life back in the uh, early to mid-19th century. Hello, everybody. Here I am. Looking at the grist mill today, the water wheel is not running. Uh, they've got most of the water diverted, but this is actually a running working mill. They still actually grind. Uh, as you can see here, flour, mostly for, for tourist purposes now. Benjamin Haygood actually purchased this property in about 1823. And the grist mill as it stands today was built around 1845. There are a number of demonstrators gathered here today, and it was just a fun, beautiful afternoon. Temperatures in the mid-50s, beautiful clear skies. We were just having a lot of fun. One of the cool things about this mill is it was a social gathering place. People from all around had came and brought their grains to be milled and sat around, played music, talked. It was like, it was sort of the Facebook or the Twitter of the day, only they were actually face to face. Enjoyed looking around and all the beauty. But eventually, of course, I wanted to get down to business here and do a quick little sketch of the mill. I didn't have a lot of time, so I'm mainly doing a pen and ink sketch of starting out with a rough pencil drawing. I'm drawing in this book. This is an aqua journal by Pentalix, uh, one of the journals I've never tried. I've got a collection of several journals that I wanted to try out and see how they work. So this is a watercolor journal, and I'm doing my drawing today in a fountain pen. This is a Lamy Safari fountain pen. Lamy is a German-made fountain pen. It's just a really nice fountain pen. It's, it feels great in your hand, and it's a great sketching pen. It's, it's used by a lot of sketch artists. So you get a little bit more expression, I think, with a fountain pen. The problem with most of these pens is that the ink is not waterproof, although this is. This is Noodler's Bulletproof Ink, but it takes a while to dry. So that's another reason why I'm watercoloring this back in the studio. You can see here the challenge I have. The whole side of this building is in shadow, and I really had to strain to see the details. But in the end, I think I was able to grab at least a reasonably uh, representative sketch, very loose. And as I pop in some of the final details here, we're getting close to calling that done. Many thanks to my wife for giving me a hand on the videography. She made the whole process a lot easier. Thanks, son. So it's time to head home after a quick snack before we hit the road and hit head back to my studio and I start to do some watercolor. I just decided to go ahead and use a travel palette and the aqua brush as if I were still in the field and watercoloring. So, hope you enjoy this. I 
I know I sure did. That was just a great day. And it's so great to take these kind of journal souvenirs back with you when you go to visit historic places on really nice days.
And voila, we've got ourselves a nice little journal entry from a great day. I hope you all enjoyed that. Thank you, everybody, for tuning in, for watching. This was a help to you. I hope you'll give me a thumbs up and just subscribe if you want to see more of this content because it's certainly coming. Thanks, everyone. See you next time.